da 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 time no see ah usually it's like you know a couple of weeks a couple or three weeks but it's been a month and i can explain uh so last month at the end of the month it was the holidays in america christmas new years and also i uh i started a new job and I got really busy with teaching and really busy, you know, training and getting used to the new job. And I was just busy and I was just really tired too. Uh, and also, uh, on, in addition, on, on top of all of that, I, I, uh, I was waiting for some, uh, some new equipment and I wanted to uh, adjust my audio, make it a little bit more clear, which obviously it is definitely is a lot more clear. A lot more powerful. I'm, I'm louder now, and also I wanted to uh, adjust my camera. As you can see, my ca my camera is a little bit uh, more more clear. There's a bit a bit more contrast to the camera now. Uh, you can see the moon. Hey, there's a moon, and sometimes you'll see the stars. Wait for it. Wait for it. Huh? Huh? Stars? Stars and the moon. Anyway. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Um, and then uh, normally I stream on, on Fridays. Uh, but this past Friday, uh, I, had a, I had a sore throat. I had a, I had a cold. I still have a cold. You can, you can kind of hear a little bit in my throat, uh, this cold. So I'm going to try not to talk uh, over much in this, uh, this, this chat part of the stream. And, uh, but I just wanted to tell you guys uh, why, why I, I uh, hadn't been streaming for so long and, and what happened to the, uh, to the edited videos, you know, the, the Jack Detroit shares and the Jack Detroit plays. Well, I just did a bunch. I just uploaded a bunch this week and that's why you have a uh, fall tea <laughs> in the middle of January. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, a couple of streams. I might do, uh, well, the plan is to do uh, one more stream after this for January. And if I've got time, I'm going to do, I might do a third like topic based stream, but I do have plans for February and March. Uh, I've already got the material researched and ready to go. Uh, but I'm really excited for February because February is the most romantic month because it has Valentine's day. Yeah. And it's an important month, like I usually do every year this month. Um, I'll talk about black history, uh, black history in American history, which is really important. And I'll talk more about it. But actually, I'm going to do something interesting. Uh, I think it's interesting. I'm going to combine the two. I'm going to, f I'm going to talk about the most romantic African Americans in America's history. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm going to have so much fun with this. It's going to be so great. Uh, and then, of course, the games are going to be uh, centered around romance. Uh, I kind of want to get back into... Do you remember that game I played around Halloween uh, about the kaiju monsters? Uh, instead of fighting each other, they had to go on dates. It was a dating sim. I want to play that again. <laughs> but I've got some other romance games involved uh, uh, that I'm going to do. But for this stream, today's stream, there's no topic. Uh, I'm not going to do a topic stream, so there's not going to be a, a Jack Detroit shares uh, edited. Uh, but I'm going to do a Jack Detroit plays. And I'm going to play a game called Beacon Pines. But basically, you can find it on, on Steam. It's, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely little game. It's the best way to describe it is it's a combination of a visual novel. It's like a choose your own adventure. You, you choose the direction of the adventure, but it also has a little bit of that um, dialogue and action choice that is in a lot of uh, 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 Western RPGs like the Mass Effects and the Dragon Age and all of those and the, and the KOTOR games, all of those games. Um, and I'm going to, well, this game it involves those choices, but I'm going to really spend time talking about what happens in the narrative of the game, the, the storytelling part of the game. 
in the dialogues. A, a little warning, though. It's this is a cute game. It's very cute, and the graphics are very cute and adorable and very pretty. And the gameplay is very not fast. It's very calming and slow paced, uh, for the most part. But it talks about things that children should not have to think about. It talks about things. This game talks about issues and ideas and adult world situations, um, and and that's why I put the the content warning in the video description. I'm going to do it again when I edit this video and upload it. I'm going to I'm going to put the the content warning on here again. It's it's definitely a, a game that if children play it, I, I I really think that the adults, the parents should watch this video first, or at least um, watch the watch the trailers in the Steam store page for this game, Beacon Pines, um, be before they let their children play this game. Because it deals with a lot of relationship and social and personal issues, um, you know, generational issues, uh, conflict between older people and, and siblings with, with children. And, and I think it's important. I, I do think it's important. Um, I just, I just wanted to get that out there. It, and, it, and I'm not saying this is, this is a bad thing. I'm not saying that this game is not for children. Um, I just think that some of the ideas that, that are talked about in this game are a little, are a little adult. And I don't mean adult in a in the negative way, but I mean things like the sort of relationships between parents and children and siblings that aren't always positive, if that makes any sense. And I'm going to be talking about that while I play this game. I I have not played this game yet, and and that's another thing I wanted to make clear. So last year when I started streaming on this channel. I pre-played all the games. I chose the games I thought would be good for English practice. But then I took a year long break. I took a year off. And when I started streaming again this year, I purposely chose games that I knew were recommended to me, that I knew would be okay for English practice, but would be mostly safe for all ages. Um, but I never played them before, and I wanted to give an honest reaction, an honest response to the games, a fresh response. And then at the end of the game, or the video at least, decide if I recommended it to you or not for your English practice. Some I was trying something different. But for this game, it came so highly recommended. But everyone who recommended this game to me and said, hey, you really should... Um, stream this game for your YouTube channel. They all of them said, but you should play it first <laughs> because there's a lot to talk about in this game. And some parents may not approve of this game. And while I safely always choose my YouTube videos and, and tag them as not for kids, right? They are always tagged for adults. Kids can watch. They're okay. It's okay for kids to watch, but this stream is a little different. This one's going to be a little different. I'm going to still continue to mark it as not for kids, but I'm going to give you this additional suggestion. Adults and parents, take a look at this game first, and you decide if it's okay for your kids to play this game. Um, so why don't we go ahead and get into it? <laughs> And so I start playing the game. And uh, per the usual, I'm going to stream for about 40, 45 minutes. Um, and and then that'll be it. I'm not going to finish the game as I as I always do. I'm not, I'm not going to finish it. And I will say, just like Unfinished Swan, if I feel like it has potential, I might play more of it. Remember, I'm not streaming to try to beat a game or finish a game. I'm trying to give you a sense of whether you want to play this game. 
And if I finish the game and I play it for you and, and it's done, then you have no reason to play the game and practice your English through gameplay. Um, and so that's usually why I don't finish the games. Um, but but some games I kind of want to keep going a little bit more, like Unfinished Swan. I, I want to do that some more. And I have a feeling I'm going to be doing that the same with this game. And so... Um, I'm not going to be streaming Beacon Pines next stream. It's going to be a different game, but maybe this spring I'll come back to it. Okay. Okay. So uh, my sore throat is coming back a little bit more, uh, a little bit now. And so I'm going to jump right into uh, the game. Oh, by the way, if you're noticing, uh, for the first time, my, I have a new banner for the company that I work for. Uh, I teach English online. It's a, 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 a platform called Cafe Talk. Uh, and I'm on there. And you can find me easily, Jack Detroit. Ha -ha. And then also, notice there's a little bunny. A little bunny. And that is to wish all of my Chinese students and Taiwanese students, hey, happy, happy Chinese New Year. Happy Lunar New Year. It's the year of the rabbit. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbit means... Um, good fortune, right? And uh, good luck. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, you know, Taiwanese. So I don't know. Anyway, a lot of people seem to think I am. Uh, at work, at work the other day, I, I work in a, in a grocery store part time, which is great. I love it. But <laughs> one of my customers said, you have an, you have a, a bit of an accent. And I said, yeah, well, actually, it's, it's not an accent. It's a it's a speech impediment, but I, but I always get this, uh, get comments from people like, Hey, where are you from? Are you from England or Ireland? <laughs> and they said, no, I think it more like Chinese, <laughs> like, but you don't look Chinese. <laughs> like, I was like, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, another thing is I, uh, I'm going to be, um, playing the game with my headphones on and I've got, um, and I better get this set up. So I've got these, um, special monitor headphones that I use for my audio editing, but I'm going to use it for playing this game. So normally when I teach, I use, um, studio earbuds as, as you know. Um, but for this time I'm going to use the, these big, huge honking over the ear cans. So let's go through this game. Headphones on. Well, actually, I'm gonna do an audio check. Oh. So I think we're good to go, um, and I'm gonna have to adjust the uh, the time on the on the audio uh, on, the, on the gameplay to about half an hour instead of 40, 45 minutes. Um, but uh, but like I said, I, I will be revisiting this game. Allow me to um, introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. You may therefore have some misunderstandings about its nature. The story that awaits you has not been fully told. In fact, its conclusion is not yet known, even to myself. It is in that way that my book is special. It is in that way that you are special. Without you, there is no story. So I want to talk about this a little bit. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it line by line. Dear reader, so this is something that uh, many, many old story books used to do. Is they used to the, the writer, the storyteller, used to um, write a letter to the reader before they told the story. So this is kind of like an old timey, old fashioned uh, way to tell a story. Um, but it makes sense here. Um, Allow me to introduce you to my book. Though it might at first appear like many books you've come across, it is far from ordinary. So they want you to understand that this is a special, a special book in some way. What makes it special? Um, 
its conclusion is not yet known. So what kind of a book doesn't have an ending? Its conclusion is not yet known. Even to myself, the, the storyteller is telling you they don't know how the story ends. And it's that way that the book is special. And it is in this way that you are special. And this sets the tone for this game. It sets the tone for this whole game. It's just, this is so great. Without you, there is no story. Chapter one. Normal isn't what it used to be. Oh boy, don't I feel that. Normal isn't what it used to be. Um, it seems like this, this uh, game is a little dark. Like, I don't mean like dark and dark story, but I mean like the, the visual is, is very dark. I hope it brightens up a little bit. Uh, but I love the artwork this already. It's a story about change. Nestled in a shallow valley is the town of Beacon Pines. Far from the town square, across the river, past the neglected welcome sign, a young boy walks alone at dawn. Oh, what's a boy walking alone at dawn doing? And there's a lot of uh, adjectives here. Nestled, neglected, and, and a welcome sign. Oh my gosh, a neglected welcome sign? His name is Luca Van Horn, and like you, dear reader, he's here for a reason. Oh, wow! So I watched some gameplays of this um, of this game, um, just to kind of familiarize with myself with this content and make sure that it was not uh, completely inappropriate, you know. Um, so this is how you move. Oh, look at the artwork. This is just go. Oh, look at him. Look, he's so cute. Look, guy's so cute. Is he a little boy? Like, how old is he? Is he a little boy? Oh, look at the animations, the, mo the mo motion animations from the trees to the clouds to the, to the way the boy moves around. This is so great. Oh, wait a minute. Look, uh, hey, dad, where's his dad? How are things going? I love that little chat the little chat um you know what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, turn off my cafe talk banner okay because i want you to get the full appreciation uh for the for the illustration the artwork the artwork on here um today is the first day of summer vacation i love it who is he talking to he says dad where's his dad I start middle school next year, I guess. So, uh, so he's just finished fifth grade. So they'll put him at 11 or 12, 11 or 12. I was six years old when you died. <gasps> He's at a grave, and that's what, so there's the stone marker, and then the flowers. So, now I get it. Now I know, now I understand why, why people who recommended this game to me told me, Hey, <laughs> uh, this, this deals with very mature, very adult themes, and and right at the beginning of the game, they, they tell you, Wow, I was six years old when you died. And it's been six years now. From here on out, you'll have been gone, gone longer than you were here. Oh, interesting. In, in in this boy's mind his his he's only known his dad when he was alive when he, when when the when the boy was alive when he was born until now that's a very interesting way of interpreting this um, hold on I don't know 
why I just I blocked this. That is so strange. It feels like that should mean something. Right? Um, I'm actually looking down to check my audio, so that's why I keep looking down. I am paying attention to this game, don't worry. But <laughs> this is this is incredible. Um, I feel like that should mean something. Right? I feel like that should mean something. Um, that so Lucas, like you know, you are a part of my life. But now, as much time has passed when you weren't there, as you were when you were. Mom always said that this tree was your favorite spot in the world. Oh. Oh. Hey, Luca. Who's this? Oh, Luca's got little tears in his eyes. I knew I'd find you here. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. Rolo. Oh, wait. The 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 storyteller's talking. I I should, I should keep quiet. <laughs> so that's kind of a, a habit of mine. When I when I see these visual novels, I tend to voice the lines, but I, I keep forgetting that there's actually a reader uh, in this story. Rolo was Luca's closest friend. He possessed many fine qualities, but subtlety was not one of them. <laughs> subtlety. Well, after I banged on your door till your gran answered. I love I love how they choose so at least, at least in America, I can't say for other parts of the world, but at least in America, when, when we talk about our grandparents, we have different names for our grandparents. We say mother, father, mom, dad, ma, ma, pa, but everyone seems to have different names for grandparents, like grandpa, grandpapa, grandfather, papa, grandpapa, um, when I was growing up, my grandmother's name was Nani. Um, I know Nana is, a, is another one. Gran is another one. Ooh. Ooh. And climbed up the treehouse. So, so, so Rolo, Rolo looked all over. Ooh. Then I knew I'd find you here. But yeah, like subtlety is not a strong point. So this is like a very private moment for Luca, you know, to spend time with his father. <laughs> and his best friend's like, hey man, I'm, I'm looking all over the place. Oh, I remember. Hey, sometimes you come here. So I'm just going to go check it out. <laughs> Rolo finally noticed the tears welling in his friend's eyes and the flowers on the grave. Oh, yeah, right. Oops. You and your mom always did this on your dad's birthday. So wait, where's mom? Where's mom? Yeah. I don't know if you're going to keep doing it now that your mom's gone too. What? I don't know if I want to keep going with the story. I mean, the the art on this is beautiful, and I like the 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 way that they tell the story through the dialogue. They introduce little bits of information to to get us to know what's happening through the dialogue and sometimes through the storyteller, through the reader. Um, I can't handle this if the parents are dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. No, she's not gone. Oh, she's just missing. <laughs> Isn't that the same? So I meant to say since she went missing. So mom, mom pulled the old. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go um down to the store to get some cigarettes. I'll be back in a, a, in an hour. 
but but they never come back. Just gonna cut back, Rolo. Ooh, there she is. Okay, Dad. See you next time. I think I'm ready to get out of here. Sure, either way. I love that little. <laughs> I love it. Guess there's only one way out. So, oh, look. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You walk through the dandelions and the dandelion puffs explode. Tickle. <laughs> oh. Wonderful. I had a good feeling about you from the moment you opened my book. A charm is a very special thing. Very special indeed. Keep hold of it for now. Its purpose will reveal itself soon enough. Oh. <laughs> I love how they run. It's great. So I love how the artwork here, the artwork is very similar to how, you know, um, in children's picture books, um, when they share, when they sh the art shares the words with the story, they don't completely cover the page. Like the edge of the art is not complete. Um, I love how that's how they do it in this game. The, that the that the art is only in the middle of the page, but it's unfinished around. It gives us room for the words in the story as well. That's that's so that's so funny. That's so great. Can I get more charm if I do this? I love the little sneeze. Okay. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. The whole reason I was looking for you. <laughs> I forgot the reason. I was wondering if you'd ever get to that. I found the perfect way to start our summer. Oh my gosh. How's that? That's my little signal. That's my little signal to me to uh, edit, edit this part of the uh, video. Uh, how's that? I look to the side suspiciously. Out here. They might be watching. Hey, who? Not so loud. We need to do this in a secure location. Mission control. All right, I just have to talk Rand, and then I can head out. What are you going to tell her? I don't know, I'll think of something. I love... You know how animals um, have, you know, their ears are very furry, but they also have these little tuft tuft like cotton balls of hair inside their ears and the artist captured that perfectly <laughs> in the in this uh, in this artwork i love it so all the same to you i'll meet you at the welcome sign remember the uh, the neglected welcome sign your grants that kind of wigs me out i don't do well with new people she moved in like half a year ago, dude. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Just meet me at the sign when you're done. Sweet yourself. I won't be long. Telegram before heading out with Rolo. Okay, cool. Aren't I supposed to do something? Hold on. Oh, the game needs me to open this. Okay, I got it. Okay. Move around here. Is there something in here? No? No, it's very straightforward. Dear visual reader, level. forgive me for this interlude. Remember that charm you found in the dandelion patch? There are more of those special charms to discover throughout Beacon Pines. They've been known to reveal themselves to those who are willing. Some of them can be found in this very house. I don't know what that means, but I'm very curious. Pa. 
Thunder. Another charm. So I guess we gotta... Uh... <laughs> I love how... I love how Luca just slides up off the... Off the um... Sofa? One of his father's old stethoscopes. Oh. Luca had spent countless hours listening to anything and everything with it. Not for years, though. Um, oh, so father was a doctor. Since Gran had moved in, the house was more peaceful, more orderly, and more covered in flowery fabric. Aw, I want to meet Gran. Who's... some dusty knickknacks. Oh, Gran is not in the kitchen. An array of prepared meals crowded the refrigerator, each labeled with the day of the week. Ah, so Gran does meal prep. I do meal prep. I do about three days worth of meal prep, you know, so I don't have to hurry during lunch and I have something to eat during my break at work when I when I work in the grocery store a pair of dull scissors a broken can opener a mostly empty bottle of glue and some loose string junk so that's the inventory okay I get it <gasps> the water's running why is the water running oh I turned it on dum dum the only piece of furniture Gran had brought when she moved in was an old hutch. That is so interesting. Gran brought... When she moved in, she didn't bring much, but, but her only fur real furniture was a glass cabinet. I mean, it looks like, you know, like old people, like old people are collect like you know, dishes and plates and fancy glasses, usually when they travel or something. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> this is so great. Granddad did the same thing. Um, I better close this. Oh my, this is quite exciting. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. I am now certain that you are the one I've been waiting for all these years. You'll recall I was a bit coy regarding the use of charms earlier. Excuse me, I tend to have a flair for the dramatic. A flair for the dramatic. That is a useful English phrase. I haven't used that in a while. You are about to encounter your first turning point. A turning point. A turning point is a term we use when describing a story. So, as we will learn in this story, we're going to come across this clever plot thing, which is called a, a, a turning point. There are certain times in this tale when everything hinges on a single word. Ooh. Step forth, dear reader. A sturdy old wheelbarrow. Young Luca would spend hours hiding in the bushes waiting for a chance to jump out and startle his mother. She always enjoyed humoring him by feigning terror. A beginner's guide to gardening laid open on the bench. A beginner's guide. So, old, old lady, but she's reading a beginner's guide? Where is she from? Look at this art. Oh my gosh, look at this art. This is un unbelievable. I am actually going to turn the audio down just a little bit, just a li little bit. Okay. Hey, Grant, I'm going to go. For Pete's sake, go change out of your pajamas before you say another word. <laughs> what? <laughs> Luke has been running around in his pajamas. But, but nothing inside clothes are for inside. I agree with I agree with you, Grandma. Grandma, you look cool. 
and outside clothes are for outside. Lucas stared at his feet and muttered under his breath. Lucas stared at his feet and muttered under his breath. Mom always let me wear my pajamas in the garden. Well, Eleanor isn't here, is she? Now go upstairs, change, and then we'll talk. Oh. Right, of course. I forgot about the pajamas. I love the narrator, the reader. In the story, I guess I'm the reader. I guess I'm the reader, and this is the story. This is the narrator. Um, so I should refer to them as the narrator, and I am the reader. Luca paused at his parents' bedroom door. He just wasn't ready to go in yet. Gran had commandeered the upstairs closet when she moved in. She lives in the closet. Some things need shelter from a young boy's mischief, she said. Oh, this is interesting. Now that I have figured out the inventory, um, I don't need to keep opening the uh, backpack. This is such a teenager's room. Luca tossed on his favorite old sweater. Even though it was the first day of summer, a chill still hung in the air. Ah, chill. I love it. Different interpretation of the word, of the word chill. Grand's moving in meant that most of Luca's things had been crammed in the corner. Luca was somewhat annoyed by the situation. Grand's bed was undisturbed. What? Luca didn't mind that she had a habit of falling asleep in front of the fireplace. It meant that he could read late into the night. Oh, so he shares a room with Grandma. All right. So I guess there there isn't a lot in this game that you have to explore. Like you know how some games you've got to, you know, like in Zelda, you really need to explore like every little corner every little piece of the map but i don't i don't think you know that's not that's not this game um but i may not be finished so let's find out let's find, let's see what grant says if grant says i'm still wearing pajamas then i then i uh i guess i have to uh keep trying okay i'm gonna go hang out all over the day see you later Hold up now. <laughs> I love it. Are you in Rolo headed exactly? Boy, there is a nothing going over Gran. There is a nothing going over Gran. I love it. I love it. Uh, how are special? The less Gran knew, the better for everyone involved. I agree. We were just gonna go to blah 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 for the day. Oh, uh, I'm gonna use. Gran, Gran is clever. The obvious, the obvious choice is chill. No, ponder. Chill. Gran is gonna figure out. That's not. A, that's not a real answer. But if I say ponder. I'm going to be getting into trouble. I'm going to get into a little trouble. I'm going to go with ponder. We were just going to go ponder for the day. Something just happened. 
to the artwork here. Something just happened to the artwork here. Oh, really? What are you boys going to ponder on such a lovely day, exactly? <laughs> I love Graham. I love Graham. This was Luca's chance to sell his alibi. This was chance to sell. Oh. Um, you know, uh, big stuff. What are t what are big stuff that twelve year old boys think about? When I was twelve, which was <laughs> a very long time ago, a very long time ago. 20 years ago. We'll just let that slide. <laughs> so what do 12 year old boys ponder? Ponder, ponder is such a big think word. By the way, I'm going to be streaming for maybe 10 more minutes and then I'm going to I'm gonna end the stream. Big stuff. Like what are, what is what is big what does big stuff mean to a twelve year old? Like I talk to my friends about like our favorite comic book characters and like who would win in a fight. But also I was like a I was a crazy romantic as a twelve year old. Even even as a twelve year old, I was as a, a, as a romantic person as I am now I'm probably even more worse more worse worser I'm I don't know I don't know English very well so I don't know I'm getting I'm getting tired of my, my I have a very sore throat right now so so I'm getting a little distracted big stuff but what, what's so what's big I don't know okay small stuff medium Mostly medium pondering. Nailed it. <laughs> well, make sure you don't overburden yourself with a prepondering, so pondering. Oh, grand. Huh? Oh, forget it. Off with you now. Impressive. You've managed to navigate your first turning point without too much of a mess. That is the power of charms. A single word can change everything. I think it's time to introduce you to the Chronicle. B. The Chronicle is a record of the decisions you've made. You can see the turning point which has been revealed. At any time, you can use the Chronicle to go back and invoke different charms, creating new branches. What? How do I do that? Luckily for us, this is the one and only turning point where the charms won't dramatically alter fate. What's happening here? It's the perfect opportunity to experiment with rewriting things. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, let's try. Oh, I can go back in time in the story. So I want to try chill. I'm going to try chill. I want to try chill. I want to see what happens. Chill for the day. We're just going to go chill for the day. The best lies are built on truth. <laughs> you boys are always in a hurry to do nothing. That is something my nanny would say to me absolutely absolutely we stick to what we're good at make sure you're done chilling in time for summer supper sorry not summer supper easy okay regardless i'm free oh and look up you and rollo stay out of trouble nah I know, I know. Get into trouble with Rollo. That's our next mission. Stay out of trouble. Next mission, get into trouble. I love it. Uh, yep, I'm gonna go meet Rollo. 
and he told me to meet him. So what we'll do is we'll meet him and we'll stop the game there. Come on, come on. Woo! Okay, buddy. Uh, dang it, roll up. Dang it, dang it, roll up. I had friends like this. I totally had friends like this. You know the drill. Don't let anyone discover our secret path. Chapter two. Welcome to Beacon Pines. For many years, this valley had been a small mining outpost. It wasn't until Sharper Valentine built his fertilizer company that Beacon Pines was established. Over the next 30 years, the town had grown and prospered until the foul harvest and his sudden death. In the six years since, everyone was simply trying to get by. What? But six years ago is when Luca's dad died. Uh oh my gosh. So we're, we're in this forest and we live in this little hut. But, the, but it's a city. It's like a modern city. Now what I want to know is if this is a good time to save. Can I save? No, I can't. So we're going to stop here. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a uh, wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, that was Beacon Pines. Um, beautiful game, but I completely agree with everyone. This is not a game for kids. Not a game for kids unless, you know, maybe the parents are playing along or at least are, are beside them, you know, and, and talk talking to them about their choices. Because this is very, this is very heavy stuff. Very heavy topic. But anyway, that's going to, that's going to have to do it um, for the stream. But um, let me come back to uh, chat. Yeah, that'll have to do it for the stream. I'm gonna uh, let me turn off uh, Pixel Sunrise. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Happy New Year's to some of my students. And the next game that I play is going to be something else. It's gonna be a cozy game as well. And yeah, I'm definitely going to come back to this game. I'm absolutely going to continue playing this game. I may even do it as a um, it's just a, like a little stream, a private stream for, for y'all. And I won't even edit it. I'll just do it. Um, it might be like a random stream. But the next stream is going to be organized. And again, no uh, Jack Detroit shares. It's going to be Jack Detroit plays. And then in February, is going to be there's going to be some topics. And I'm going to be playing material that is romantic. But also, I'm going to integrate the topics into my conversations uh, in those streams. But this was a, just a little fun. I just, you know, I hadn't streamed in a long time and I thought I had all my technical issues worked out. I clearly did not. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, thank you for your patience and I hope you had a good time too. And with that, I'm going to say good night.